Meteoroids, small rocks orbiting the sun, enter Earth's atmosphere at speeds of many miles per second. At those tremendous speeds, the air in the path of the rock is severely compressed. When air is compressed rapidly, its temperature increases, like air in a bicycle tire pump. The hot air causes the exterior of stony meteoroids to melt. The melted portion is so hot and fluid that it immediately ablates, sloughs off, and new material is melted underneath. A meteoroid loses most of its mass as it passes through the atmosphere. When it slows down to the point where no melting occurs, the last melt to form cools to make a thin, glassy coating called a fusion crust. On stony meteorites, fusion crusts are seldom more than 1 or 2 millimeters thick. Except for some lunar meteorites, less than 1 in 1000 of all meteorites, fusion crusts are not distinctly vesicular, there are no obvious gas bubbles. Some fusion crusts will show flow features, others may be covered with regmaglets. During atmospheric entry any corners, edges, or protuberances are the first parts to ablate away, like putting an ice cube in water. The result is that a meteorite is rounded and aerodynamic in shape. Thank you for watching. Please like share and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this.